okay guys hi welcome to our channel today and on today's channel we're going to be talking about how to run a message ad so today's um businesses usually run more message ads than you know sending to the website because majority of them don't have you know phones to create websites so they send their customers from facebook to their message app like facebook messenger instagram dms or whatsapp so but we're going to run um, a message ad and we're going to show you how to set that up and we're going to be using one of our clients accounts to actually run the ad so now let's get to the system and let's show you how to set up a message ad for the very very first time so on our system you would see the big green button and in order to get to this page all you just have to do is go to uh business.com.facebook slash ads manager so that's how you can get to this place so the next thing you have to do is click the big green button so now this is the new interface so facebook have changed their interface time to time and this particular one is the new interface so you might get some things confused here so we have um if you come down to awareness you would see different ads that you could do reach uh, brand awareness video views you could see um, traffic to send traffic to a particular landing page so but we're, what we are more concerned today is how people could send messages and engage with us so if you look at leads the only problem i have with this leads is leads is only meant for um facebook messaging that's facebook messenger so people will be able to message you on facebook messenger but we don't want that we want that we want people to message us not just only on facebook messenger but we want people to message us on our instagram page and also probably on our whatsapp so yeah so what we're going to do next is we are going to create click on engagement then we are going to name the campaign so i always name my campaigns so let's say today is message me so i'm going to select all copy i'm going to paste because i'm very lazy i just do that <laughs> so we're going to do this then we're going to click on continue so now this is the uh, first thing you are going to see is going to first of all take you in different stages so this is you're creating the campaign because facebook will ask you what do you want to do so which is we want to run message then it's going to ask us the ad sets which is going to talking about placement location where do you want to run it which side or whatever it is is going to tell you to do so so the first one is the campaign name we've already written it then budget optimization that one is if you have different ad sets so we'll come down to that in a different lesson so we're going to click next so don't worry about the a b testing and all those ones this one is going to be another class so this one is just mainly to run your ads so you can it's going to ask you okay message websites or app so we're going to choose um messaging app so this is where it will now tell us which messaging apps to make use of so now it's going to tell you whatsapp is going to tell you messenger so we're going to do instagram direct for today and messenger so on the next video i'm going to show you how to run a whatsapp ad so but if you click on it it's still going to show you it's still going to run to your whatsapp so um the next thing is confirm if this is your page so this is her page this is her instagram page then you confirm the amount so the next thing that you are going to do is um, select an end date if you don't want to select an end date there is no problem you can just keep running your ads and do whenever you want to post it but it's always good to put an end date so you don't forget that your ad is running and to enter other budgets so the next thing is select an end date let's say this is going to be a seven days ad so um we're going to calculate this is going to be one two three four five six seven we we'll just put this so time same thing you're going to select the time so um there are other more options like you can tell facebook what time and more give it more options so if you go back to your daily budget say lifetime budget you can tell facebook i want it to be running in the afternoon i want it to be running at this time so you have you want with facebook ads you should have in mind is you keep testing because if you don't test you don't know what works best for you so um after that the next thing you have to do is you are going to choose your audience so you can if you have um say saved audience because we've already saved some audience here 
we can choose from our safe audience but we're going to for the sake of this video we're going to create a new audience so first of all you're going to select nigeria then messaging apps doesn't work in some european countries so you have to know where you are actually running your ads to so let's take for uh, for example sake nigeria then if you want to add another one if you want to even add someone else backyard you can do that so if you supply you know where the person is you can target the person or the group of persons so let's say the next best place you're going to run the ad is um, let's say usa let's say we are targeting the whole of the usa if you have a big budget for that so we're going to target the whole of us and notice it's going to be increasing and decreasing so um it's going to tell you based on so it may affect your result and all those things so also make sure some european countries just check some um read some guidelines in which countries accept some kind of ad so you will not be able to you know have issues so but for now let's just use this for example sake then um this is very very important most persons usually skip it or don't see it so it will ask you do you want to run ads to people living in or recently in this location so you'd want to choose if you don't want it to go out of a particular ge geographical location you have to say okay people living in this location not people that came in and went out but people living in that particular location so the next thing is you have to maybe people that are travel but just choose one choose the one that is suitable to what you want to do so the next thing you have to do is choose your age your age you've done your research you know who messages you so for her it starts from mm, some 18 some 21 then we can put uh, you can choose any date range but you have to run ads to know or you do your market research or do your audience research to um, know which age is the right age age range so as much as possible you now set your gender you can say you want it to be only men you want it to be only women whatever your choice is you choose it but we're going to select only women because it's a skincare product so we're going to select only women so then you're going to select your detailed target this is where eh, much research has to be done so you are going to know okay who exactly are you targeting yeah so are you going to be targeting um people that are interested in baths people that are interested in skincare notes if you for example if you're in the skincare business and you said people that are interested in skincare note that people that also scare sell skincare products are also going to be in this place so you should also be very very mindful of what you choose so you do your research you know that okay where are these people where do they belong where do they stay talk to your audience when you they buy your products what do they like where do they go to so we notice that some other persons uh, some clients are being found in some certain area they like some things so we can actually search that so we can say okay our uh, clients that usually you know buy bags and shoes because most clients that get those they actually very also um so handbags females that go for handbags you know people that have money to buy handbags they actually want to get their skin you know touch so you can click that and you can add more options minimum you can do one you can do three but try as much as not making it too much then as much as possible facebook gave an option where if you can't um reach if you want if you are you know, confused of not knowing okay how much or how far your target audience are you can tell facebook to you know go beyond your target audience and you know the algorithm should do its job yeah so the next thing is language you don't want to touch that if you want to touch that all languages or you just select english people that speak english alone you don't hear any other language so the next thing is you can leave it on automatic placement you can leave it on um manual placement but for people of recent we found out that people on instagram turn out more when it comes to message ads than people on any other platform so we are going to be turning off the rest you can click click on automatic placements or you can just select only instagram 
so now we're only going to select instagram so and make sure all the sizes of all the ads you need it's ready so if you're going to run on reels make sure reels is ready but for this particular ads she, did, she hasn't done um a reels for it so we are going to tick off reels so it's already to be yes and also when you're running some kind of campaigns there are some certain um placement that will not be available for so for message ads you cannot choose reels so you can only choose stories feeds and explore so those are the only options that are open to you so the next thing is if you want to tell facebook to bid control so you know one thing with facebook ads is um it's an auction it's telling people take for example now uh, it's an auction house you are auctioning for people's this thing so if you're ready to pay 10k for people's view if you're ready to pay 5k one one dollar spa so the higher the highest bidder takes the audience so it's an auction but as much as possible you get to your audience so the next thing that we are going to do is um yeah you leave it in conversion then this is another thing you have to note if you go to your business manager those of you that have not done business manager i'll leave a link below on how to set up a business manager so set up your ads very well so you have to make sure if you set up your business very well put in your business registration and everything you'll be able to change some certain things in facebook yeah so you click on next so now here they're going to ask you uh this is the ads page so we just finished on the ad set so we are now on the ads so they'll ask you do you want to um, create a new ad sometimes most of our clients usually want to pick from their instagram page yes you, from here you can pick from your instagram page you can say okay i want a promo but you have to meet the requirement before uploading so if it's reels it has to not be more than 30 seconds if it's um a post it's not uh, it doesn't have to be one minute for some time i think now they are now accepting more than um i'm going to i'm going to confirm that but i'm sure now they are setting more than one minute you can post and you can select directly so right now we're going to select it from our own instagram page we don't need to create a new ad and why we do that sometimes is due to um social proof you know you see views number of views and so many other things comments right from there so we're going to choose from her page so we're going to select this and we're going to use existing post we're not creating from scratch but if you want to create it's easy you just click on create you that choose carousels we don't know what carousels is using more than putting more than one po um, content in one post so you have the clients or the viewers will have to slide through yeah so um but we are going to use a single video so if you want a single you just click on it you add it so to avoid all the stress just come here you've already uploaded sometimes some people don't want to upload their advert on their page that's good so but some persons do upload the advert and they want to promote it from there so you use existing post then we're going to select the post you select instagram then you could see they will tell you some settings so you see that okay this is feed 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 so we are going to select a video let's see if she has a video okay this is a reel yeah, you can select reels there are reason to let me see one to use okay so she uploaded this video so let's make use of it so as it's loading you are going to it's going to make sure um it's going to work on different placements and everything and you can preview it by your right hand side so you know okay this is where it's running to and this is how it's going to look like when the user or the customer see it for the very very first time so um you can check your button if your button is you can say okay i don't want message but the default button is message ads so you could see that this is instagram explore you could check if it's run and also also check for if there is any error so you can preview how your ads is going to run you could see don't worry this is going to come off it's just um so if you turn preview on and turn preview off it's going to come back so the next and most important thing is you have to either choose your automated chat like for example when someone message you 
um, how do you want to start your conversation you can choose automated chats because you selected Instagram you selected um, Facebook um, Facebook Messenger and Instagram direct so that's why it's give so if you have an automated this thing you can use it if you have sometimes some people have already an automated settings um, set up why some don't have you can start a conversation then you can come to create when you come to create you can say hi or shibuki if you don't have this let's take for example now this is not available even if like hi so it brings up the person's name you could put um the person's first name last name or phone name so i like using the first name so please um that's you are asking the client this is how it's going to display hi or shibuki please let us know so if you have a command in your distance like say um, DM sales all you just have to do is cancel all this because most persons usually do that so you clean up this then you can just write here sales so the person immediately the person just sees your ad it clicks on here so you can have different kinds of this and then you can switch between Instagram to see how it do it so the person will send the message sales or the person will send message or I'm interested or whatever it is or you can leave it blank you don't need to put anything so you can do it whatever the way or the way, however you want it to be so um, we can leave we don't want to save this so if you want to save you can save so um, the next one is if you have a pixel tracking you put it on your listing so we're going to be doing a video on how to put tracking on your website in order for you to drive more sales those are for those persons that are sending you know ads to their landing to a landing page or to their website so when you are done please cross check you go back to make sure everything is nice everything is cool there is no mistake uh -huh. so as much as possible this ads is only running on instagram you can make the ads run on facebook by selecting the placement and selecting facebook ads so when everything is done and you are sure that okay you choose message ads you choose messenger you choose instagram direct you can choose only instagram direct it depends on what you want so and the users will have to have those apps don't forget your budget you put the budget that you want per day if you want 50k per day it's your choice so this is what you pay facebook so this is everything then when you've cross check everything and everything is golden all you just have to do is click the publish button so don't forget to subscribe to our channel don't forget to like and don't forget to click on the notification button because we are going to be bringing lots of stuff for you and if you have any question you can leave it in the comments below and we're going to answer your question so thank you very much and see you in our next video